hello 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 youtube family welcome and welcome back to freeze fragrance finds i am the lady of the house lady free your gourmand guru and on this channel baby we love and discuss all things fragrances where i love gourmands yes i do but that doesn't mean that you have to stick around i promise you'll find something that you like guys welcome to today's video and in today's video, we have our August perfume tray. If you don't know, our perfume tray videos are informal, no face, no case. We just discuss the fragrances on the tray for this month and we move on. So if you did not know, now you know. Before we hop right in, please don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and thank you guys for clicking on today's thumbnail. You make me feel so So let's jump right in. This month's perfume tray, which is August, I decided to include some body care items because I have a plethora of body care items that I need to use up. So what better way than to put them on a perfume tray? If you guys are interested in me showing body care items more on my channel, please be sure to leave that down in the comment section because I do have a plethora of them. I have just not moved in that direction as of yet, but the plan was to do so anyway. So, and this month's theme, I was going for a vanilla e mango or cakey type of mango scent also that cakey vanilla type of lemon scent and I threw in some florals as well. So, I'm going to try to keep my hands out the way as much as possible. Girl, they're not manicured. They're not done. And we have just been thugging it out lately. So it is what it is. <laughs> okay. All right. This first product that we're starting with is this Dove Men Plus Care Mango and Cedar Wood Body Wash. I know that it says it's the men's line, but trust me, the mango in this body wash is just so sweet and so decadent and so realistic. So this will go well with my mango scents that I have included on the tray for this month. You guys definitely need to get your nose on this if you haven't as of yet. This next body wash is this Sugar Cookie Body Wash by Native. Um, I'm not sure if this was a uh, limited edition or a seasonal item but this sugar cookie body wash is going to give me the kind of vanilla sugar vanilla cakey vibe that I'm going for this month next is this cozy vanilla bourbon body wash by Bath and Body Works and this is when I want a little bit more of a little bit more umph with my vanilla so I included that because, of course, it's vanilla, but this is when I want a little bit more umph or depth or a little bit more maturity to whatever vanilla scent or whatever layering combo that I'm going for. I'll use that. Next, I have this Tree Hut Candied Lemon Shea Sugar Scrub. Smells so good. It goes perfectly with your lemon type of fragrances, your Lyra's, your... Dolce & Gabbana Devotions, your Acro Bakes, goes perfectly with that. So if you hadn't gotten your nose on this, then you need to do yourself a favor, especially if you have any of those lemon cakey scents that have been viral as of lately or that have been trending as of lately. You need to do your favor and get, you need to do yourself a favor and grab that. Keeping right along with the theme, next we have this Tree Hut Tropical Mango Body Scrub. Smells like a tropical mango. The mango scent is not, it's more like tropically. I know that's what it says, but it is really what it is. And it's really what it, what it smells like. It does have like a kind of synthetic mango smell, but it's still very fragrant. So do yourself a favor and get this and layer it with your mango scents. Sticking with the scrubs, we have this birthday cake um, scrub by Ancient Cosmetics. I want to go ahead and use that up. As you can see, I've used majority of it. But the birthday cake, again, sticking right with the theme, birthday cake, cakey, lemony, cakey, mango type of scent. So we're going to use that as one of our body washes as well. I chose to use this birthday cake oil, also by Ancient Cosmetics. It smells just like birthday cake. The oil is very moisturizing and it is all of the things. Get your nose on it. Sticking with the oils, we have this lemon cake oil or um, scented scented body oil 
from uh, Sugar Milk Company. Baby, the scent and the smell and the throw on this. Do yourself a favor and get your nose on it. It smells just like a lemon pound cake. Literally all of the things. Next, we have this mango cupcake, also body oil by Sugar Milk Company. Smells like a mango cupcake, okay? This is just a little roll-on. I do intend on upgrading and purchasing the larger bottle. I just wanted to test it out, and it's safe to say I love it, okay? This last body oil or perfume body oil we have is by Renewed Scents, and it is uh, called Snooze. It is lemon cream and pistachio, as you see, and this has a nutty, creamy, lemony, cakey type of scent to it this is your lemon cake with sprinkled with pistachios okay lotions creams that type of thing this is your mango body yogurt by the body shop i'm not sure if the body shop has been discontinued or is being discontinued but i do know that i have maybe that one in another backup that i need to go ahead and use up it's vegan friendly it's not the thickest consistency again it's a body yogurt so the more strict content on this one isn't the greatest but the scent is delightful okay next we have the sweet cream with shea butter by tree hut this smells like the sweetest cream the sweetest vanilla -y, cakey type of scent and i do know that it is seasonal so i don't think it's available right now but i think it will begin to become available as the weather cools down so i think it they start kind of putting it out if they're going to put it out again um in uh, your fall and winter seasons but when you see it get it and grab backup bottles of it it is worth the hoard baby yeah I, I, I can kind of be a little bit of a hoarder when it comes to body care powders but it's worth the hoard baby because it's just that good it's moisturizing the scent is there if you don't want to put on any oils with it, it's you can still wear it on its own. And when I tell you the scent does last a minute, make sure you get this if it comes back out, okay? I'm sorry that I have it on there and it's not out, but I'm going to use it up. I'm going to use it, so that's why I have it on here, because I am going to use it. All right, jumping right into our fragrances, we have Illa Domel. I told you I did want to include some floral fragrances on here, and this is one that I absolutely love and adore. If you have Centra in your arsenal, in your perfume collection, whatever you want to call it, do yourself a favor and layer this Illa Domel with Centra and get your entire life. It's not too much. It's not too heady. It's, it has some iris, some powdery iris, orange blossom. You do have jasmine, but I do pick up on the jasmine. But the honey that is in this fragrance kind of just makes the jasmine palatable for me, okay? And it's not a heady jasmine or anything like that. And it also has some juniper berries in it. It is all of the things. I plan on layering this. Um, I have layered it with Centra, but I also plan on layering this with this with this Marfa uh, travel spray that I have, I want to go ahead and use it up. This Marfa also smells good. And this is going to be my next purchase from the House of Memon Paris. It's also a sweet floral fragrance. All of the things. This next fragrance is Eau de Well by Diptyque. And this is the Eau de Toilette. Now this is your vanilla that is your fresh, spicy, aromatic vanilla. It is a little bit balsamic. A smidge powdery. And this is when I don't want to have like a really cakey a really sweet gourmand vanilla this is when i want to just have a more fresh vanilla this vanilla is a perfect vanilla for this time of year when it's hot outside it does have bourbon vanilla some elemi resin cardamom this one also has juniper berries and also pink pepper so and then black tea so it's just and some saffron so this is all of the things it's spicy it's resinous it's sweet but not too sweet now, when I want that cakey gourmet type of vanilla, this is what I want to pull for. Okay, this is Accident I Love Me by Juset Parfums, and it's just exactly that. A cakey gourmet type of vanilla smells like vanilla heaven, okay? Like, it's powdery, it is still light, and it's not thick or dense or heavy or anything like that. It's just your more gourmet, it's just your more gourmet type of vanilla,
now this is another vanilla that I wanted to include now this is when I want a more lactonic type of vanilla and I wanted to include this one because I always reach for my um, escapade gourmands I know escapade gourmand is not lactonic but that's another gourmand vanilla that I always kind of reach for. I don't reach for this one because I do have your escapade gourmands. I do have your Bianco Latte. I do have your even your Blanche Bet, you know, if I wanted to reach for a, a more creamier or rich, more dense type of vanilla. So I wanted to include this one on the tray because I don't reach for it as often because I do have those other ones that I... I guess in essence prefer but I do like this one so I wanted to include it as well now the actual fragrances that I want to layer this with is Lyra we all know about Lyra I spoke about it in one of my other videos I think my last video actually I'll I think my last video actually I will link it for you I think it was my favorites video or whatever um this is your vanilla cakey lemony type of scent it does have a licorice note so careful don't blind by this one the licorice thankfully doesn't pull heavy on my skin but i intend to of course layer it with all the other things that i mentioned okay so this next lemon fragrance is poets of berlin this is not your gourmand lemon cakey type of scent but i did want to include it because i do need to get some more wears out of it i actually love it it does have a strong lemon present it actually has blueberry and lemon but this one is a little bit more aromatic it's a little bit more fresher um and it doesn't have that sweet lemon gourmand touch but i did want to include this because i do want to wear it and i do actually absolutely love it and on those days where i want that lemon cakey I will go ahead and layer it with some of the other vanilla fragrances that I mentioned and on those days that I don't I will layer it with the diptyque but this has a blueberry lemon and your bamboo orris um, so it's a little bit powdery it's just it's like a fresh lemon and a fresh blueberry not like a sweet cakey type of blueberry but I absolutely love this scent it's not a safe blind by though uh, of course if I'm going to do of course, if I'm going for a lemon cakey type of vibe, of course we got to do the um, ice lemon pound cake. Smells just like an ice lemon pound cake. This version is actually more cakier than the one that they have out now, or the one that they, um, the one that they brought back last season. This one has a stronger, a stronger, cakier presence. It smells more sweet. It smells more sweet and it smells much more cakier um, than the one that they have out now. The one that they have out now is a little bit more lemon forward. This is still lemon forward, but it's the lemon and the cake are basically the lemon and the vanilla. And I think it also has what? Sugary glazed icing. All of that is just really front and center. No one thing is kind of standing out whereas the new one the lemon stands out a little bit more and it's less sweet so okay so those are the vanillas i mean so those are the lemon scents that i have i only put two mango scents on my tray which i should have put more but i didn't want to crowd things out and I don't want to keep talking about the same fragrances over and over again. This is Alts Biju. I've spoken about that in my Mango Madness video. I will link it for you. This is your more perfumey type of mango scent. The mango scent is kind of dug down in there a little bit. It kind of peeks its head through as the fragrance starts to dry down. So when I first spray the fragrance, I get a little bit of mango, a little bit of mango, but mainly I get um, just a more perfumey, maybe some florals, I think. Yeah, so when I first spray the fragrance, I do get more of those florals and more of that kind of perfumey, designer-esque type of scent but as it starts to dry down that mango does start to come through a little bit more it's a little bit it's a little bit powdery with that iris it's fruity it's a little bit floral to me as well but it's also a little bit powdery i love the way that the mango is done in this scent it's not just a fruity tropical scent mango scent your typical mango scent it has more depth to it a more perfumey sent to it but i've spoken about this already go ahead and check that video out if you haven't i'll link it 
And I plan on layering that with the Mango Mood by Fleur, the body spray, okay? Now, you can't talk about florals without talking about Delena La Rose, right? Perfect Delena for the summertime, for the hot weather. I just wanted to throw that on here because it's refreshing. And I did um, have some florals on my tray. And I just wanted to include it. We all, we all know about the good girl Delena La Rose, right? We do, okay? So this last fragrance is one that I just wanted to get some wears out of really no rhyme or reason for this fragrance It is sweet and it does have a vanilla presence to it I would also classify it as a vanilla scent, but it has So 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 much going on with it that I didn't just I don't just want to dumb it down and say It's just a vanilla scent. It is not this has some brown sugar to it. So it does have a gourmand flair to it a gourmand nuance to it but it's not a really a gourmand gourmandy type of scent um you have a beautiful lotus note in here also a beautiful creamy smooth magnolia note along with some red berries some citruses and vetiver this one is just very different it's a little bit cold smelling as the bottle would indicate or characterize in my opinion sometime last week i wore it was my scent of the day and i layered it with um gentle fluidity gold and baby when i tell you i got my entire life it was so sweet and so vanilla -y. and this one kind of just brought out more of the more floral essence that the gentle fluidity gold teases us with okay and i like this fragrance because it has a different type of florals in it lotus and magnolia it also has lily as well so i like this one because this is just a different fragrance that has a different flair to it so all right y'all thank you thank you thank you thank you for making it to the end of the video thank you for sticking in here with me i love each and every one of you i appreciate your love and support as well if you want to see a layering video from me drop down in the comment section and let me know also if you want to see me mention more body care products such as body washes body scrubs body oils body uh, perfume body oil let me know and i will be sure to acquiesce and make sure you like subscribe to the channel make sure your notification bell is turned on and set to all if you find any value in the content that i'm putting out over here at freeze fragrance finds if you find any value in your girl lady free you can show your love and support simply again just by giving it a big thumbs up and becoming a part of the family and subscribing to the channel okay thank you so much again and until the next video i will see you later peace